So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Fridays and new Dax function every single Friday. And in these Dax Fridays, we're going to go through ignore, roll up group, roll up is subtotal. What? <laughs> yes, those are functions that are exclusively used inside the summarized columns that I, you know, we went through the last Friday. So kind of roll-up group is actually available on Summarize too, which I showed you before also. And um, they are used differently. So go and check that out. That video is just linked down below. And check this video to see the difference between both. But we're going to check these three functions that are used inside Summarize columns. Check Summarize columns before this. It's not necessary, but it's recommended. Okay, summarize columns, documentation from Microsoft. You have here, they try to go through the different ones. It's like super weird stuff, roll up. So, uh, I'm not going to go through this because it won't make you anything clear. It won't make me able to explain anything. So we're going to jump into Power BI and we're going to do examples. It's the only way I find this possible to explain these table functions, okay? So the, t the example file that I'm going to use is available for download as always in curva.com, resources, DAX, the download center, then DAX writing. So go and grab it if you want to follow along and do this, or if you want to follow along afterwards, either way. So I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Summarize columns. I explained it on the last video that if you have a blank column, that row will not so if you have a blank result, that row will not show, okay? Let me show you. So if we go here to new table, this is again the Northwind data set that is available for download for free. And we're going to call it, what do we call it? Summarize. Summarize columns equal to summarize columns and then we're going to summarize a uh, year and then we're going to summarize category name and then we're going to do it by sales uh, this is the name of the column that we're adding go to take summarize columns up so you'll see what i'm doing and then uh, this is sales oh not yet, not yet. Let me let me stop here. Uh, so as you can see here, let's remove year. So it, it just doesn't. You, we don't get too many results. As you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine categories. Okay, so it's from beverages to other. Notice the other. Now we are going to add. We want to know the sales for each category. So we're going to add a measure, a column with the sales. And this is, do you see that the other is not there anymore? It's because Summarize removes rows where the results are blank. The results of the measure are blank, okay? Can I get it back? Yes, you can. Obviously you can, and you can do that with ignore which is a horrible name, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ignore brings it back? What, so I guess it's ignoring, it says ignore that is blank and put it in, but it's just not intuitive for me. <laughs> Whatever, ignore will bring back the blanks, okay? So if you wanna have the sums with the blanks too, that's the function to use. Yay, okay, um, let's see what else I have in store for you. Uh, we are going to add now two more, so, so you see, uh, we're going to add two more columns. We're going to add a year, and we're going to add a column that I made up myself, which is called subcategories, just to be able to show you. now. Here's the thing, go to the link down below that it says summarize with roll up, blah, 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 and check that out. Because 
There is a function in Summarize called Rollup and Rollup Group that allows you to add subtotals. And that is available in here too. But in my opinion, it's just more complicated. It's just like, oh, my brain was like exploding when I was reviewing this um, function. Here's the thing. If you want to add subtotals in here, you use Rollup is subtotal okay and that will um, add the subtotals and it will tell you where the subtotals is which column the subtotal is L let me give you an example if i put here two things you might think that you go in here and you put roll up is subtotal and then you put categories if you want to put add the subtotals for that and then you have the syntax like this is subtotal category whatever you have to give it a name whatever you want this that's the name of the column um, the category name was specified more than once yeah exactly that's what i was wanted to tell you you cannot put the same column twice it just doesn't work it doesn't work for summarized columns so what you need to do is just simply remove the one up there so if you want to have subtotals, you just wrap the column into the roll up uh, is subtotal. OK, and then it will give you this fantastic thing, which is the same. I mean, it's easy. Go to the summarize. It's just so much easier to see. This just gave me a headache. So here you say sub. Total categories is a subtotal, no, 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 no. And then here you have the subtotal for a year and subcategory when you put that the roll up distribution totals for a category, which to me is not intuitive at all. Either way, that's, <laughs> that's what it does. Um, so things will get hairy from, from this point on. And let me show you. I created a monster measure to be able to, number one, I make me understand it. And number two, make you understand it, <laughs> which, you know, I have to understand it first in order to explain it to you. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and enjoy if you can. So here's the thing. We have summarized columns. We went back to the first one. Summarized columns, category, subcategory name, category name, and year. And this is what you get. Awesome. It's a table that summarized with the columns that we wanted. Now, we're going to do like this. I am going to roll up the subcategory first. So I'm going to uncomment that. And I'm, I have to comment that because you cannot have it twice, as I showed you before, right? So this is giving us the subtotals for, because we use subcategories giving us for category, name, and year. You can see it here. Okay, so first we have all three, and then we have category, name, and year. Okay, now, next one. If I remove this one, because you can add multiple rollups, again, I have to comment that out because we cannot have the same twice. So now we're getting both all, and then we're getting category name and year, and then we are going subcategory and year, and then only year. Okay. And then if I remove the last one, ding, ding, and then I have to comment that out because we cannot have the same twice. It gets a, a table like this. So now we have both category name, year, and subcategory, category name and year, subcategory and year, and we have category name and subcategory without year. <laughs> and then you have the true or false, depending if it is a subcategory or a not. <sighs> okay, now you can put more than one category in the roll up, and the result will be different. So as you can see here, I have roll up for category, subcategory, and category, category name in the same roll up, not like in separate here. So we're going to 
I have to comment that out, comment that out, and then I'm going to take that. And you get another roll up, <laughs> basically. So now the category with the subcategory is not there. Okay, so depending on how you're doing the roll ups, you, how, how you build the tax, you will get different roll ups. And on top of that, there is a roll up group that it is only used, it can only be used inside the roll up is subtotal which is the one that I have here. So we're going to comment this out and it allows you to roll up. You'll see. <laughs> okay. So now what are you talking about woman? I know, I know. So here's the thing. So here we have when you have the roll up one by one, this is the table that you get. This is the table that you get when you do the roll up in one. Okay, so you can see the differences. And this is the roll up when you do twice. So roll up is subtotal and roll up. Crystal clear, right? Okay, so in order for you to have any chance of understanding this, number one, you need a case where you need this because then it will make sense. And then you say, oh, I want to roll up. Hmm. And then you start playing with the roll ups, right? And number two, you, you can play with it, right? Like the, the way I'm doing now and see, okay, what, what subtotals am I getting? And if I don't want to have that subtotal, how would I write? But it's highly confusing in my humble opinion. So this is everything about summarized columns with the functions that are built in for it. So I hope that you still have a good ride after this video. And I will see you again on Monday. Apologize for this, but hey, I'm just a messenger. So. That's it for today. Have a great weekend and I will see you again on Monday as always. Until then, make sure you take care. Bye bye.